plain. So I thought I would uh, show you around and then maybe once people join, get a bit of uh, Q&A going on. Um, so we'll see. I can't really turn the camera around though. Oh yeah, I can. So, do, 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 do. Set of the plane. Fuck's sake. Is it broken? What? Dunno. Are you filming it? <laughs> ah, yes. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> But it's all part of the fun. You can even go in the cockpit. Do, 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 do. Pretty good. So, if you have any Q and A's while I'm on set, ask away as I drive this pretend plane. Oh, in tandem. It's quite comfy on pilot seats. Come on guys, get your questions in. Da -da 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 -da. Otherwise this will be a very boring video. It's not really too much special about uh, filming in a plane. It's actually quite a good environment. Generally pretty closed off. Um, yeah, it's a fake airplane. It's actually um, owned by a... It's not, it's not for training. It's um, literally just bought by um, a company that does uh, aviation for film so they obviously just use this one for different ones and then you can put different stuff on the back so you can basically mess around with it um, with a training one they wouldn't they probably wouldn't let you on so this one's basically just chopped up and uh, not even on wheels so it's just on in this uh, in this kind of old hangar so it's pretty good uh, boom differently in tight spaces yes um, it's usually actually trickier with the lighting um, because there's lots of LEDs and like strip lights and uh, things like that, you get a lot of shadows. Um, so generally, you're approaching things more from the bottom of frame. Generally, there's a lot of people standing up, um, and so actually trying to navigate seats and get underneath uh, to get really close to the action is the main, the main kind of name of the game. So uh, generally, finding that generally you're not booming overhead. They're using the uh, hypercardioid MK41. Uh, for inside, which sounds lovely, um, and yeah, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so it's not too loud. Uh, although we did have a problem with kind of pigeons coming in the actual uh, place, and uh, the doors, the, the, the you're not, you're never completely sealed in, um, so there's lots of kind of holes to the to the outside world. So it's just making sure that people are still kind of quiet when we're actually filming uh, to make stuff work. Um, but otherwise it's all pretty good and then it's just usually wrangling um, extras to uh, even mime stuff or like mime talking obviously and uh, trying not to basically cause too much unnecessary noise especially if it's uh, not on camera then we don't want to hear it basically so that's the kind of general aim with that uh, so hopefully that helps you out um, any more questions about there's not that many things about filming on a plane it's pretty much exactly the same thing and then we have a video village outside so I'm watching on the monitor making sure we're close to like the safety safety line with a boom and uh, yeah it's pretty straightforward so but uh, we're just on lunch so I just thought I would uh, jump on and see if I could help people um, and then even though we're on an airfield, it's like an old airfield, so uh, radio radio miking hasn't been an issue, still using just all our normal uh, legal frequencies. Um, nice, we almost always film on uh, plane, on school planes, ah, a couple of planes, nice, half of them. Just one project was on a real airplane, which had an awesome deal with the film project, amazing, yeah. Uh, uh, do you grab any extras talking as a loop group? Uh, yes, if there's time. Generally, all that kind of stuff. Um, unless it's a really, really weird space, um, in which case I get um, instant, uh, what's it called, IR, like impulse response. Um, that's usually where you like clap the clapperboard or like make a big, make a big bang, and then you can basically record the decay um, and the reverb, obviously, and then we can use that in uh, in post production. Um, but generally, for the loop group, may if there's time, that's the trick. Um, so. Uh, there's there's quite a lot of stuff. I might actually just take a, a normal flight somewhere. Um, if it, I'll probably be flying somewhere in between this and the post production. So I'll just uh, yeah record a little record a little general hubbub of stuff going on. Um, 
but yeah, it's kind of stuff you can layer up pretty easily in post as well, so keeps it nice and easy. Um, yeah, thanks Linda, yeah. I'm trying to do more live streaming because it's harder to make individual videos that kind of cater to everyone, so just trying more of these kind of, uh, yeah, live hangout things. So I'll keep this one to like, I don't know, seven minutes, ten minutes, because um, the other one was like 38 minutes, which is probably a bit overkill, but uh, yeah. In the pilot seat, for the people just joining. So yeah, and now we just have a yeah dialogue talking scene, pretty pretty standard. Gonna be like a wide two shot, probably more like this. Let's see if anyone's down there. No, I don't. Up, yeah, they all love me. It's great. I am. <laughs> How do you make use of G3s as IFBs? I actually have different... So I have one for the boom up, definitely. <laughs> and then um, and then I have one uh, different set, Electrosonics IFBs, for director um, and script supervisor as well. Um, so IFBs is generally just to hear a feed. <laughs> and I just, rent, I just rented this plane for this YouTube video. It's great working with Griff and Camera. There's so there's so much fun. <laughs> About getting the time. Yeah, it's just if you have time to do it. So if you have time to get uh, any extra stuff, then it's always good. Um, but if you yeah, if you don't get time, then it's something that can be done in post production. So generally, dialogue first, and then uh, keep going back to to other stuff, basically. So it's good fun. Yeah, exactly. But you don't you don't need the time when it's like that, so it's fine. Here they come to try and ruin everything. Oh, we got it, we got it. <laughs> <laughs>